Good day, fellas. It's Elon from GSM Promit, and today I'm gonna discuss with you an exclusive update concerning the Mina Magic 2.2, which supports iCloud bypass for XR till 15 Pro Max without signal. The good news is that if you've already bypassed your device and you don't get notifications and some Apple services, you can now re-bypass and get all these services back working normal. So what I have here is an iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I'll be using to test the update. I've already bypassed this device and it wasn't having some notifications and some Apple services. With that being said, let's get the video rolling. The bypass process is pretty straightforward. It doesn't require you to do much and so therefore it won't take much of your time. All you need to do is to download the software which I'll provide a link in the description box below. Once you download the tool, you are going to install and once the installation process is completed, you just launch the tool. Just as you can see in the video. So you connect your device on the activation lock screen as you can see and then all you need to do is to click on the unlock or activate your device button so that is all if you've already bypassed your device earlier and you were not having um, some apple services this is what you just need to do now you just need to restore the device using 3d tools or restore it using itunes to the latest version and then re-bypass to gain full um, notifications and apple services if you are bypassing for the first time you have to run a compatibility check which uh, is just the same process um, for the first time you just connect your device once it says supported you have to register the device which for sure it's a paid uh, it's, a, it's a paid software so i'll provide a link to register or the registration link in the description box below and so once you once you're done with the registration you have to wait for the activation process which will take from 12 to 24 hours once a waiting time or uh, is due then you go ahead and activate your device it's just uh, pretty straightforward no stress no hassle so what i have here is the iphone 14 which i said i did bypass earlier so i'm just trying to re-bypass to um, see if I if I'm going to get all these Apple service working. All right, sure. So from the tool, the bypass is completed. Uh, it just takes a few seconds. It doesn't take much time, as I said earlier. Once the device boots up, there won't be anything to set up since the, uh, the setup.app is going to be skipped automatically by default. So there won't be anything to set up. As you can see, the device is automatically straight to the home screen. And that's all for today. I think the bypass process is completed. All you need to do is to ensure that all the Apple services are working by testing them one by one after the other. I'm going to insert the same and make sure that the same is also working. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till then, peace out.